configure OSPF version 2 in a single area addressing table R1, R2, R3, PC1, PC2, PC3, R1, R2, R3, PC1, PC2, PC3. Configure OSPF version 2 routing. Configure OSPF on the R1, R2, and R3. Use the following requirements to configure OSPF routing on all three routers. Okay, first configure R1. This is R1. And enter, enable, configure terminal. Process ID 10. Router OSPF 10. Okay, this is the process ID. Router ID for each router. R1 is 1111. Router dash ID 1111. And network address for each interface. Okay, how to see the, the network address on each interface? Use do show IP root connect. And you will see your network addresses on each interface. Uh, you have uh, three interfaces, three active interfaces, so you will see three active networks, network addresses for gigabit and two serial interfaces. So advertise this network 172.16.10 and use a wildcard for 24 is this uh, 255 but uh, it's a single area okay single area use area zero area zero now the next is 172.16.30.30 wildcard for 30 is 0003 area zero and network 192.168.10.4 and wildcard for theory is 3 area 0. Enter. Lag interface set to passive. Okay. Do not use the default keyword. Okay. The passive is the lag interface. The lag interface is gigabit 00, 0 on R1. Okay. Because on this side, you don't have a router as a neighbor. Okay, on serial interfaces, you have uh, neighbors. They are uh, they are routers. Okay, but on this link, on this LAN, you don't have a router as a neighbor. Okay, and so passive interface gigabit zero zero. Enter and exit. And do this for R1, R2, and R3. R1 ready, go to R2. Okay. And enter, enable, configure, terminal, router, OSPF, process ID 10, router, dash ID 2. Enter, do show IP root connected. Network 172.16.20, wildcard for 24 and area 0. Okay. And next, network 172.16.30, and wildcard for 30 is 0, 0, 0, 0003, area 0. Enter. And Wait a moment and you will see an adjacency with this network 1111 that is R1. On this link, you have an adjacency between R1 and R2. Okay. Enter and uh, I just advertise it to networks. Advertise the third network is a network 192.168.10.8. White card is 380. Enter. Don't forget the passive interface. The passive interface is uh, gigabit 00 on R2. Passive interface gigabit 00. Enter. Then exit.
Finally, configure R3. Okay, enter, enable, configure terminal, router OSPF 10, router ID 3333, do show IP route connected, network 1821, 192.168.10, wildcard for 2480, network is uh, 192168 10 4 wildcard for 30 is 0003 area 0 enter and wait a moment and you will see this adjacency with r1 enter and the last is 192168108003 the wildcard for 30 area 0 enter and wait a moment you will see the adjacency with R2, the neighbor of router ID 2222. This is R2, enter. And the passive interface, passive dash interface. You can see the passive interface is this, gigabit 00. Okay, gigabit 00, the lag interface. Gigabit 00, exit. Verify OSPF routing is operational. On each router, the route detail should now have a route to every network in the topology. Okay, go to, for example, go to R1 uh, and show IP route. And you will see all networks. Okay, this directly connected, 172.16.1.0. 172.16.1.0, directly connected. Okay, letter C, directly connected. Uh, OSPF network, a remote network, 172.16.20. 172.16.20, remote network. Directly connected, 172.16.30. Directly connected, 172.16.30, directly connected to R1. OSPF, remote network, 192.168.10. 192.168.10 Directly connected, letter C, 192.168.10.4 192.168.10.4 Okay, and OSPF, remote network, 192.168.10.8 192.168.10.8, very nice uh, You can do the same on R2 and Enter, show IP root, space. Now you can see one, two, three, four, five, six networks. One, two, three, four, five, six networks. Very good. And verify configurations. Each PC should be able to pick the other two PCs. Okay, go to PC1 and come up around ping pc3 pc3 ip address is 192.168.12 uh, sorry yes 12 192.168.12 and success and ping pc2 172.16.22 172.16.22, enter. Success, very nice. Completion 100%. Thank you very much.